Hello and welcome back. To wrap up this section of the course, what we're going to do here is install the Windows Virtual Desktop Client for Windows. Up until now, we've been using the web client, but I thought it would make sense to at least show you how to install the Windows Virtual Desktop Client for Windows. Now, to get the Windows Virtual Desktop Client, I'm going to copy this link address here. And you can see it's aka.ms forward slash WVD clients windows. And this will allow me to download the remote desktop client, which is about 18 meg. And then what we'll do is we'll install it and I'll drag this over onto my main screen. Simply accept the terms and I'll install for all users. And at this point I'm being prompted to make changes to my device. Yes. And we'll launch it. Now what I'll do is I'll go down to my taskbar here and drag it over. So now that I've launched the virtual desktop client for Windows, I need to subscribe to access uh, my managed apps and desktops. What I need to do here is subscribe with a URL. So I'll click the URL option and then I'll use my workspace URL. And you can see it's, it's rather long. It's rdweb.wvd.microsoft.com forward slash API forward slash arm forward slash feed discovery. The full unwrapped uh, workspace URL uh, is now on your screen, so you don't have to look at it all wrapped up. And then what we'll do is we'll next it. We'll sign in as Mike McDermott. and we'll sign in. Now I'm not going to make changes to my device, so I'll just know and sign into this app only. And there we have it. So we can access the workspace through the web client and through the Windows client. And with that, we'll call it a wrap.